Hey YouTube, what's up? It's Celine here. Today I am finally doing my room tour video. I have never done a room tour video um, throughout my three years of being on YouTube. It's actually just past my YouTube birthday, which I made my channel first, I think it was like June 2nd, um, three years ago. So happy three day, three day, three year birthday to my YouTube channel. Anyways, I finally got permission from my parents to film this video just because I've had a lot of I've had. I have a lot of personal items in my room as well as certificates that say my last name on them. So as a family, we just weren't very comfortable showing everything to the internet. But we took a lot of those certificates down and um, for the purpose of this video, obviously, and they finally let me do one. So um, without any further ado, let's get started. Okay, so making my way into this little corner on the left, I have my bathroom, which connects into my room. And then I have my actual door, which leads into my bedroom. So I'm just going to give you guys a quick little overview of everything first before I get into explaining everything. So enjoy this little panorama view. Okay, so walking into my room, I have this giant speaker here, which I love. It's portable, it has wheels. I literally use this every single day to listen to music and just blast music, obviously. And it's called um, Beringer or Behringer. I have no idea the name, but I love it. I got it actually this year. And then I have two magazines here, Seventeen and Teen Vogue, that I have not read yet because I have not had time to. And plus, I like to save um, reading my magazines for the weekend, so that way I have something to look forward to during the school week. And then I guess I'll start from the bottom shelf here and make my way across and then go up from there. So on the bottom here, I have some sunglasses and just glasses cases. Um, sunglasses inside those also and then I have um, some ex leftover film because um, I take darkroom photography so that's just in there and then I have some camera stuff in there also and then I have a random set of books it's very varying I have a journal um, a copy of the great Gatsby given to me by my dad from when he was in college some dictionaries some regular books more journals unused journals photography stuff etc Making my way to the left, I have a bunch of albums here. These are not necessarily all of my albums, but I just have them hanging there stacked up um, just because I'm too lazy to actually figure out a place of where to put it. I just think it looks cool that way and there's a lot of colors. Then I have a lot of stuffed animals um, from there. That monkey one is given to me by my friend Eve. The three bears on the left are all given to me by my parents and my mom from throughout when I was um, a kid. Actually, the one on the very left is given to me last Valentine's Day by my mom, attached to a balloon, so it was really cute. And that panda bear over there is actually called Rosie from when I was maybe seven or eight. I've had so many childhood memories with those stuffed animals along with the Winnie the Pooh, of course. And then I have this little elephant here given to me by one of my dad's workers from when I was also very young. And um, whenever I look at it, I always just think of him. And plus, I love elephants. I think it's so cute. Um, you guys have seen this in videos that I made mid last year. I used to use it in my setup then. So if you recognize it, that's where it's from. And then over to the left, I have some um, notebooks unused that my mom recently bought me. I have my Michael Kors clutch that Melise gave me, oh, my, my best friend Melise actually. So thank you Melise for that, I'm so excited to use it. And then um, I have my iPad case which has my iPad in it. So that is what's over there. Making my way to the left, I like to call this my hell corner for the pure purpose that it holds all of my SAT books, standardized test books. It's ridiculous how many SAT books I have gone through and finished. So I'm actually taking my SAT tomorrow, so um, wish me good luck, guys. Uh, so then over there I have speakers, which is resting on, and this purple mauve periwinkle blue, whatever color you choose. Um, I guess it's more like a lilac color, if anything. But it says Paris on it. I'm pretty sure it's from Marshalls. By the way, I'll try to give a good job of telling you guys where everything is from, but if something is not necessarily 100% true, then please don't yell at me. I just don't know because I've lived here for about 11 years now. Um, so in here actually is a lot of my purses, my school bags, um, wallets, um, purses, clutches, things like that. So a bunch of purses are really just stuffed under this one big bag. And then I also have a blanket from Melise's um, college that she gave me. So shout out to Melise in this video. And then on the left, I have this lime green cabinet. It's either from Ikea or CB2. And again, these are really old, so I have no idea if they still make these or not, but... Anyways, over here, I have um, a little magnet that says Celine, and I also have some Taylor Swift magnetic thing over there also. On top of that, I have my air humidifier so I can sleep better at night and breathe easier. 
And then I have this lamppost that actually my best friend Fiona has also. I didn't know that she had this, so I guess we're twinning in a way, but I never use this. Like ever, I got this from Target. I bought, I bought it myself about early this year. My walls were not like this for forever. This is pretty recent. This is um, going into freshman year. So about three years ago, I painted my room light blue. Otherwise, there was hand-painted um, fish all over the walls. There was actually a painter who came in and painted everything on there. But then time came where I actually had to grow up and my mom's like, you need new walls because you cannot go into high school with fish and mermaids on your walls. And I'm like, okay, mom. And I see why she was right now. So then what these are, these are just little doodles that I made when I first painted it. Um, they're really, you can't really see it unless you're looking for it, so I just have them there. I have a computer that is extremely slow. You guys have no idea how slow this is. So if you want to refresh something, you gotta wait another 15 minutes. So this is not something I use often. It's connected to my Mac Mini, which, um, like, so that's why it's like, it works as an Apple computer, but it's a different desktop, but it just does not work well at all. I've had this for so long, so that probably explains why. Then I have a candle burning here from Bath & Body Works. And then making my way to the right, I have um, also a music speaker. You can put CDs in here. The only thing is you can't really pause anything. So you just kind of have to either stop it completely or play it, which is kind of annoying, but I mean, the sound is great. Um, I have some birthday cards over there. Also, my birthday was May 6th, so if you hear me say a birthday a lot of times, it's because a lot of things in here are new because of my birthday. I have my Polaroid camera, um, a water bottle, and then over here I have two mason jars that I got from Target. I think it was um, these two for $3 or like a dollar or something like that. And in here I have, I'm writing down on colorful post-its good things that have happened to me this year, so in the end of the year I could just look back at all the things that made me smile or made me happy. So it's a really sappy thing of mine. And then over here I have a lot of my jewelry, not all of them, but most of them. Um, over here I have some bracelets. I have my rings over here on these cute little stands, which I happen to love a lot. There's like a bunny on there and then there's a cat tail, so that's where my jewelry um, hangs. And then I have this bracelet from Forever 21 that I got recently. And underneath here it says S. I think it's from Anthropology or Marshalls. Either or, I have no idea. And then over here I have some more necklaces just hanging. And then over here I have all my headbands. I have a lot of headbands. And then making my way to the top, um, I have my whole Taylor Swift shrine, like I like to call it. Um, a bunch of Taylor Swift stuff. I have my Taylor Swift Polaroid. I keep meaning to hang it up in a, in a frame, but I don't know if there's any frames that hold up just this size Polaroid. So if you guys know of it, please just let me know because I really want to frame this. I don't like having it in the open. And then I just have a bunch of Taylor Swift stuff, as you guys can see. Over here, I have my Fenerbahce um, flag banner thing that my dad got me from Turkey because I love Fenerbahce. It's a soccer team, if you guys didn't know. I have this mug of this baby who's actually right there that I took photos of for my photo class, so that's hanging there. Um, my, grandpa, who, my grandfather, who unfortunately passed away, I just keep his picture there for memory. Taylor Swift tickets, Ed Sheeran tickets right behind that. Some more um, family pictures, and then Victoria's Secret dogs because I think they're pretty cute. Making my way over here, so over here on the right is my jellyfish that actually glows in the dark. It's pretty cool. It's not real, um, but like it's glass within like a mold, I guess, so it's pretty cool. And then I have some knickknacks that um, if not I have visited, but other people have given me, so from Puerto Rico, um, I think Brazil, that one. And then over here is a candle that was actually at Taylor Swift's house and I bought it at Anthropology. And then over here, another jellyfish cool looking thing, this toy car from Canada. Um, I have this other decoration, um, a humidifier, it tells me like the temperature of my room and stuff. This bowling pin from when I had a bowling party when I was nine. And then I have these two painted pictures given to me by my cousin Melissa, so thank you Melissa. She was awesome at painting them, she loves to draw. And then I just have this empty bird cage looking portrait that was from Marshalls. On the very top, there's not much over there, just other more knick-knack types of things. And then over here I have a lot of magazines, lots and lots of magazines, so I'm not going to go into that really. And then some more magazines on the very top, my Harry Potter collection, and more books. Fun fact, I actually had about, I guess around eight of these shelves filled with books um, a couple years ago, and so I donated all of them because they were, um, I was growing too old for them, they were mostly children's books to begin with, so that is what it looks like on the right side of my room. And oh, over here in these um, compartments, if you guys are wondering, here I have my scarves, I have some school supplies in there, some more school like notes, tests, etc. And then over here I have some more art supplies. So if you guys are wondering about that, that is the entire right side of my room. 
Now, over here I have a bed which is circular. I've gotten a lot of questions about this and I've tried to answer them as many times as I could, but the actual bed itself is from Ikea. It, it's circle bed, so it's interesting to find some comforters that actually fit it. Most of the time I just get queen size, I'm pretty sure, for uh, my bedspreads. This cover, this duvet color cover, is from Bloomingdale's. I got this over um, December to January, given to me by my grandma, so thank you to my grandma. And then I have some pillows here. These blue ones are from Marshalls. The owl is from Marshalls. I don't know where the sparkly one is from, so sorry about that. And over here is my makeup collection, perfume collection. Um, these whole cabinets cover makeup, candles, etc. So on the top here, I have these fake flowers I got recently from Michaels, including the jar. I just kind of threw them in there. And then I have some perfumes, um, some hand lotion, etc. On the top here, I'm not going to really go into full depth with my makeup, but just so you guys can see, it's all makeup. Well, not all of it, actually. About four drawers of them are covered with makeup, it, not even. And then the rest are just random things. Like here, I have some nail polishes. Actually, a lot of nail polishes. Um, I have some more cases and some random makeup wipes, sponges, things. Then I have some more random stuff here more random stuff as you guys can see and then lastly i have my candles so that is all of what is in this collection this is from ikea i think it's called the alex drawer i'm pretty sure over here i have all my polaroids so i have quite the number of polaroids and then over here i have my desk which i'm pretty sure is also from ikea but the thing is most of my um Drawers and everything are from countries like Germany, Italy, Switzerland, things like that. So it's not necessarily found in America. So the shipping on these is very um, long. Over here, I have a bunch of pencils because I said like I'm taking the SATs tomorrow. So I gotta be prepared with more than two pencils because I am just that crazy. Over here, I have some more fake flowers, also from Michaels. I just filled water in them. Some candy. And over here, I have this big purple bag, which has a bunch of makeup stuff in it. So this is like the most commonly used makeup items if I choose to wear makeup on a school day or whatnot. And then I here I have some stickers from Brandy Melville. This drawer thing is also from Ikea. Um, it was very annoying to build. I remember we got it several years ago also, and it was very tedious to do. It took a long time. I have some AP review cards, which I guess I can give away now um, to like a friend or like a cousin or something who is going to take AP West History because the APs are over. Over here, I have some flashcards, um, flashcard holders. I have a candle lit up also from Bath & Body Works, my Apple computer, Obviously my calculators, like I said before. And then I have this nightstand. Well, not a nightstand, but it just gives off light. And I think it's so cool. I got this recently from my dad. Um, it tells you, it has different settings. If it, this actually decides to focus, which would be awesome. Okay, so on the bottom it says sleep. So this is like a different light for sleeping, a different light for studying, and a different light for reading. So it's really easy on the eyes, depending on what work you're doing. So it's awesome. Plus you can charge your phone using it too. So I think it's great. And then over on the very left side, I have some more Polaroids. These aren't ones that I've taken, but these are actual Polaroids just copied onto paper. So this is what my friend Jordan had given me. I think she got it from Marshalls or TJ Maxx. So I don't know if they still have them, but um, I just kind of arranged the ones that I like the best and just hung them up there. And then on the bottom, I have my Taylor Swift Polaroids that came with my 1989 albums that I bought. I have my studio lights. I'm running out of breath from talking so much. I have my tripod. And then I have my clothing drawer, also from Ikea, I am pretty sure. And then over here, I have my mirror, which I take a lot of my outfit of the day pictures in on Instagram. If you guys want to follow me on there, it's at beautyblush06, so a little self-promo there for a sec. Here I have my Taylor Swift poster from the US Magazine. It was like the collector's edition from, I think, 2010 or 2009, something like that. And then I have some spray-painted things, and then here's a picture of Fetus Celine when she was about seven. And also Malise on the top left, and my cousin Melissa on the very bottom. So this is a very old picture. Lots of memories with that. I have a yoga mat there, um, some more pictures of me and my friend Eve also, some slippers, and that's pretty much my entire room. That is my room tour video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to leave a comment down below if you like what's in my room or if you have any personal questions about something in my room that I just did not cover. And also I have all my social media linked down below in case you want to follow me on Twitter, Tumblr, Instagram, wherever it may be. And please make sure to subscribe if you like this video and you want to see more videos from me and you have any more requests. Again, make sure to leave a comment down below and thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye everyone.